the democrats have a tendency to repeat talking points and their tropes to legitimize their side of the story democrats also have a history of making russia a scapegoat for their own incompetence democrats say that the usa's election process is completely perfect democrats also say that russia is interfering in the election process they have a history of making russia a scapegoat for their own incompetence As per them, the Russian government interfered in the 2016 US presidential election with the goals of harming the campaign of Hillary Clinton, but they do not tell that the leaked emails were legitimate and Hillary was at fault. In the 2020 elections too, the Democrats, realizing that they might not win, tried to blame Russia for meddling in the elections and spreading misinformation. Now, as the 2022 midterms approach, Democrats are trying to use the same old trope of Russian meddling. While people would have bought this earlier, this much repetition will make them lose trust in the Democrats. Hi, and welcome to TFI Global, the foreign affairs and geopolitical analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Shubhangi, and in this video, I will tell you how Joe Biden is trying to make Russia a scapegoat as Democrats look at a probable loss in the midterms. Let's begin. With the midterm elections inching closer, the Democrats have realized that they are not going to win. With a record number of failed policy decisions and worsening of position of the USA in the world stage, Democrats are certain of a defeat. And for the same reason, Joe Biden has harped on the overly used trope of blaming Russia for influencing the upcoming elections. President Joe Biden on Tuesday accused his Russian counterpart of seeking to disrupt the 2022 congressional elections by spreading misinformation. Be it the broken promises, inefficient governance, excessive support to the extreme left factions of the Democrats, or sudden changes in the societal norms, Joe Biden has done much to be detested for. And to top it all off, with the joke of a border policy coupled with the increased crime rates, people are just fed up with his administration. At such a time, what better way to turn the blame away than using Russia as a scapegoat and brush all these concerns under the rug by detailing them as some Russian misinformation campaign? During a trip to the office of the Director of National Intelligence near Washington, Biden said, Look at what Russia is already doing about the 2022 elections and misinformation. Biden was referring to information he receives during his daily briefing. Putin has a real problem. He is sitting on top of an economy that has nuclear weapons and nothing else, Biden said. He knows he is in real trouble, which makes him even more dangerous in my view. The US president also expressed alarm about the recent rise in cyber attacks, particularly ransomware, which encrypts victims' data and then demands money in exchange for access to be restored. However, the sudden concern can only be attributed to the fact that the Biden administration has realized a coming defeat in the midterm elections. Joe Biden's policy, which has had the most negative effect, has been his border policy. He has not only looked the other way, but has also deliberately tied the hands of federal agencies to make it easier for cartels and illegal immigrants to make it into the USA. After completely dismantling the strict border policy of the Donald Trump administration and then stripping the US immigration and customs enforcement of all its powers, President Joe Biden has dismantled another agency that would have made the administration aware of the crimes committed by illegal aliens. The policies have led to a record entry of immigrants which has crossed the million mark in the first half of 2021. This is not going to go down well with the people of the US. who would not want their standard of living to go down for some virtue signaling and political correctness. The Republicans are already confident about next year's elections. Senator Lindsey Graham predicted on Monday night that next year's midterm elections will be as good to Republicans as the seminal 1994 vote which gave the GOP unified control of Congress for the first time in more than 40 years. Graham told Fox News' Hannity, I think there's a tidal wave brewing. I think this is going to be 1994 all over again. When you look at rampant inflation, out of control crime and a broken border and just a general lack of knowing what you're doing, lack of competency, 
The Republican Party is going to have a great comeback if we recruit the right people. In 1994, the Republicans gained a net of 54 House seats, giving them control over the chamber for the first time since 1952. Republicans gained a net of eight seats in the Senate, regaining control of the upper chamber for the first time in eight years. On the domestic front, White House officials have left key Biden campaign promises on health care out of their budget proposal earlier, as the administration focused on trying to pass what it has already introduced, according to four people briefed on the internal matter. The budget did not include President Biden's campaign pledge to enact a public option to create a government-run health insurance program or his pledge to cut prescription drug costs, according to the people involved on the matter. So basically, President Biden has given up on most of the policy promises that connected him with the working class and the students, that is, the very people who may have tipped the balance of a competitive election into his favor. In the arena of foreign policy, he had also made many promises, ranging from him continuing the opposition to Nord Stream 2 and to punishing the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman. However, as things stand, he has silently given up on both of them. Be it the border situation, crime rates, the failing foreign policy in every region, everything is depreciating at the same rate as Joe Biden's cognitive abilities. Joe Biden and his administration have realized the same. They know they are going to lose in the upcoming elections. And as left liberals are not used to introspection, they have found a usual scapegoat in Russia.